Namaste angels. I'm here to do a spiritual energy reading for tomorrow. Um, under the guidance of Mother Mary. Um, and direction. At her direction. Beginning with the energy of God. I step out of the way and surrender any need for control in order to make room for God's healing love to flow through me and this situation. <laughs> Opening now, she's not playing around. Opening now to marriage. I make a commitment to a healthy relationship with God, myself, and my partner. This sounds like God family football. God is back. Put it out to optimism. I expect good things to happen, and they do. All about the law of attraction and positive thinking. Reaping what we sow. Positivity breeds positivity. And prayers are answered when we don't worry. Instead of worrying, I pray about this situation and bring about real solutions. And optimism at the bottom again. I'll go ahead and cut. This spiritual energy reading, of course, um, in honor of the presentation of Jesus at the temple. Coming to hope. I trust that God has a wonderful solution and brilliant plans in store for me. Present moment. I am fully present in the here and now is our overall energy living in the moment. Appreciation for life. And how long it can be as well as how short it can be. So making sure that we spend it with a smile on our face. <laughs> to the masculine, she says feminine. I allow my feminine nature to shine brightly as a valuable part of my identity. So she wants you to surrender and soften up a little bit. Surrounding you, the energy of giving and receiving, so similar to that six of pentacles, which I said reminds me of a combination of Taurus and Libra. I balance being generous and receptive because both are equally important. And masculine, just how you had Jesus all this week uh, in your subconscious is God. I guess the father. Again, I step out of the way and surrender. So you're starting with feminine and surrender. Well, feminine energy is energy of surrender. Um, and now God guiding you again. <laughs> Two out of three cards to surrender. So I step out of the way and surrender any need for control in order to make room for God's healing love to flow through me and this situation. Whatever situation you're in, you apply it. Feminine, home. I trust and follow my divine guidance about my home. Some of us may be living with people um, with whom we don't vibe. I spoke about this in the general weekly reading, I think it was based on the cards. And today while I was out, I saw a sign that, you know, said something about feeling love because the people, you, know, you love the people with whom you live so much. And that's like the best thing about your home is that you love the people with whom you live. 
we pulled that card a few times, I think, this week, which is the two of hearts in my Egyptian tarot. Um, some of the feminine, perhaps, living with people, maybe an old roommate or a spouse or, you know, boyfriend or girlfriend, um, parent, child, with whom they're no longer comfortable living and they need to move. Surrounding the feminine, signs, so maybe signs to that effect, like the picture I saw today, um, letting you know it's time to move on. I watch for, notice, and trust the signs that heaven continually sends. And prayer is also back in the feminine subconscious. Isn't it awesome and beautiful how prayer is opposite God? We have prayer in our subconscious and the masculine has God. Instead of worrying, I pray about this situation to bring about real solutions. I, I've mentioned to you guys before, my mother used to always say, or um, I'm sure she still does. I, we, we just don't live together anymore. Um, if you pray, don't worry. If you worry, don't pray. Crowning, caring, heaven cares for me and I keep my heart open to caring about myself, others, and the world. Wow. Next to the father, God is mother. I open my heart to my mother's humanness and her divinity. At the heart of the matter... Grace, as in Hail Mary, full of grace. He's right here in the center. I am filled with the same beauty, poise, and divine perfection as all of God's other creations. It's reminding us to never feel less than. Um, and I spoke about this in, I believe, the daily reading that I did for today. So the general um, daily reading, I spoke specifically to the masculine about... All the times that we had seen that five of earth, five of pentacles for him and how I attribute some of it, at least, to feeling less than the feminine's like last partner or other people in her life. You know, I don't measure up to her friends or her family or her, you know, her ex-boyfriend or ex-husband or ex-girlfriend or ex-wife, whatever the case, you know, case is. This is here to remind us no you absolutely do you know you're always at least as good as i am filled with the same beauty poise and divine perfection as all of god's other creations even like the angels and stuff is what this is saying you know that we're all beautiful Which is actually about what um, Lucifer was angry. That man was going to be considered, you know, one of the most perfect um, beings that, uh, or, you know, creations that God had ever made. He didn't like that. I'm going to get some advice from Archangel Michael, beginning with detach from the situation. Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and this situation. Opening to this is your life's purpose. Archangel Michael, you know the details of my divine life purpose and I ask you to help me to be aligned with my goals. Please clearly guide my actions so that I'm taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career. This is your life purpose is back. Opening now to go forward fearlessly. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. And now that at the bottom, I'm gonna cut. The overall energy is explore your options. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love. 
helping me to see, understand, and assess all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness, and life's purpose. Archangel Michael says, keep your eyes on the targeted intention. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me to focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action toward realizing my dreams. Also getting advice from the Ascended Masters, beginning with the power of joy, joy and Maitreya. Opening to Archangel Michael. You can do it. So a moment ago, he just directed us to take action, those of us who need to. And now reassurance already that we will be successful. Opening to Purification and White Tara. Some of us may want to fast, um, depending upon our particular situation. You'll know if you need to or not. Apollo says, focus upon your strengths. Focusing upon your strengths can also, also help you to remember that you're as good as God's other creations. We're all blessed in different ways. Kuan Yin says, let it go. And she was here this week too with the, um, with forgiveness in the love reading. Also getting advice from the angel therapy deck, beginning with mediumship. You have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. So you may also want to reach out to your ancestors for support and guidance in whatever it is you may have to take action on a personal level, individual level. I also saw as I was shuffling over and over again, heart chakra, solar plexus chakra, and third eye chakra, in case anybody wants to work on those. Opening two, if you get nervous, focus, focus on service. Put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. Mediumship is back. Opening now to listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. Actually pulled um, that mystic card which is all about intuition quite a few times I think this week for the masculine I'm reminding them to pay attention to their intuition mediumship is back and solar plexus is back as well I just was mentioning that I had seen this it is safe for you to be powerful and to take charge of your life in positive ways Solar plexus back. I'm going to cut. Base chakra. This is also called the root chakra. Begins at the base of our spine. Choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, career, and finances as your words determine your outcome. So more about the law of attraction. Um, and once we put things into the universe, we leave it there and we don't worry about it anymore. We allow God to take care of it. <laughs> and 
and I just shuffled over and over again in my hand and base chakra is back. This is our overall energy. Did I mention that yoga and Babaji was the overall in energy from the Ascended Masters deck? I don't believe I did. It is. And lastly, advice from the butterflies. Beginning with be true to you. Opening to healing from the past. Healing from the past now at the bottom. And self-care. So <laughs> these three, um, very good companions for one another. Be true to you. Healing from the past and self-care. All about putting yourself first, which we also saw many, many times this week. Opening to grief work. This can go right along with those. This is part of your healing. If you've been saddened, I pulled a couple of cards from that Egyptian tarot um, on both sides, masculine and feminine that were indicative of sorrow, um, the need to release pain from the past. That's grief work on yourself. That's self-care. Grief work is back. I'll go one more. Opening to sentimental feelings. So softening up. I'm taking Mother Mary's advice of feminine. Grease work is back. Overall energy here is heavenly signs. Okay, masculine, the butterflies say to you, decisions, <laughs> just like the cards have been saying that you had to think you had a decision to make. Butterflies are reminding you to take action in that regard. Feminine, you are stronger than you know. No nine of swords. Masculine, I say all the time, a man's word is his bond. Integrity. Align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what's right for you. And then stand up for it. Defend it proudly. Feminine, sacral chakra. You are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. All about, this is Queen of Swords coming through, saying cut out everything that doesn't serve you, people, places, and things. From the Ascended Master. Masculine, mother, wife, sister, daughter, with Lady Nada. If you have a relationship with a feminine energy with which to um, heal, which with, with which you need to heal and, you know, forgive and um, work towards something better, even if that means a parting of the ways, this card directs you to do that. Or, or and, it also, similar to Mother Mary here with this feminine, um, tells you to address the feminine within as well. The mother, wife, sister, daughter inside you and surrender. Feminine purification is back and I'm feeling not only about like, you know, cleanse and maybe eating clean and being healthy and some of us needing to, you know, fast and or otherwise detox, but that this goes along with this, the message we got from sacral chakra. So not only to work on healing that and do maybe some meditations, healing sounds or whatever toward um, healing the sacral chakra, but that this purification goes along with this message of um, the fact that we need to avoid harsh items, situations, and relationships. We need to clean and clear ourselves of these, um, people, places, and things. From Archangel Michael, feminine. 
your children are watched over by angels. Dear guardian angels of my children, born and unborn, thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so that I know the best ways to be a good parent and a role model for my own and other people's children. This reminding us that if we need to take some sort of action feminine, our kids are going to be okay. A lot of times we, we claim, we convince ourselves we're doing certain things for them. We're really using them as um, a shelter and basically in that sense, a false like in prison for ourselves to say then we can't. You know, I can't do this and I can't do that because my children. Archangel Michael is saying, I got your children. You do whatever it is you're being guided to do by spirit. Archangel Michael says to you, masculine, be gentle with yourself. Another message of for you to soften up and surrender. Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love. This is feminine energy in everything I think, speak and do. Help me to know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. And lastly, from Mother Mary, masculine. Marriage. We started with it. We're ending with it. I make a commitment to a healthy relationship with God, myself, and my partner. Feminine. Wow. Inner child. I nurture the child within me through playfulness and self-care. I hope that you guys enjoyed this spiritual energy reading. I personally thank Mother Mary for suggesting that I do it and feel really good about it. It really says to me, hashtag God family football. I have a big smile on my face right now. Namaste, angels.